Carbonation TV. All right, Peace Reflections. It's Professor Musa, and today we're going to talk about facing our demons. Now, just to clarify, I want to note that demons are not these entity beings that we think like come and possess us the way that the Christian and the Catholic Church make us think that is you know what I mean you I grew up under the Christian programming so it's like I know a lot of people that come from that the belief is that demons are these beings that ah all this crazy shit so first I would like to state that um, the honorable master teacher nature boy teaches us and reminds us that First off, the devil is God in disguise. That's first and foremost. And that's well, God is everything. And I believe the chapter, the verses, Isaiah 45 and 7 and 745 is one of them. But it talks about how God is everything. God is the devil. He's the good, the evil. He creates all, which is us. We, it's everything. It's, there's no separation. So the devil is God in disguise testing us. We all must be tested. You know what I'm saying? What would life be without tests? How would you be able to prove yourself worthy without a test? You know? Even if you have a lover, you have a friend, uh, things have to be tested to prove they are what they say they are. You know, whenever you put something out into the universe, you say, oh, I'm confident in myself. You start saying affirmations, you know, I'm confident in myself. You're in the universe is going to be like, oh, you're confident in yourself. And they're going to put you in situations where you have to prove to yourself that you're confident in yourself. You know? Because that's, that's how you, you know who you are, is when you're tested. <clears throat> and then you pass those tests and you're like, that's me. Or if you're tested and based off the way that you respond to whatever happens. If you fold up under pressure, you know, the only reason you're going to feel like you're insecure, the only reason you're going to ever feel like your less than is, if, is because of how you've presented yourself and proved to yourself in situations. As you prove to yourself in situations, eventually you'll be like, oh, I'm that, I'm that nigga. Like, confidence is built from uh, repetition. You know what I mean? Repetition and, and succeeding and success or whatever you want to call it. And also with something internally, it has to do with your astrological programming as well. But let's get, let's get on to this. All right, so facing our demons is something that's so important, right? And our demons are nothing more than bad or negative thought forms. Bad or negative thought forms that come from within. All of these demons, they fester in the hearts of all men. All of us, men and women, they're in our hearts. And because of our programming and the way that light refracts in our mind, some of us, we deal with these demons differently. But we all have been there, we all have experienced it, certain negative thoughts. Some of us, it's easier to laugh things off. Some of us, it's easier to just switch the perspective and look at it from a positive perspective like why would I think some dumb shit like that like I know that's not smart you know and it may not be like that at first you know we work our way up but it's just inevitable that our program unfolds the way it does and it shows us like I'm not gonna think like that like that's dumb like but we might all have similar thoughts in some way doubt for example doubt is not a conducive thought it's not you know unless it stops you from doing something stupid but for the most part to doubt yourself it doesn't make sense because, like, what the fuck? Why, why would I put that on the universe? That means I'm going to attract people around me that doubt themselves. That means that I'm going to attract situations that is not conducive. But if I believe in myself, I can literally have whatever it is I want, you know? Doubting will mess up your ability to manifest things that you desire in life. Your lover and, 
and your real family, people that really value you. But if you doubt yourself, then you'll never love yourself enough to to detach yourself from from things that aren't for you. Because you'll doubt like, damn man, I don't know if, if anybody's gonna love me. I don't know if anybody's gonna, cause you're not, you know what I mean? You don't believe in yourself. So these are low thought forms, low thought frequencies, right? It's, it's like the, the higher self and the lower self. The lower self are vibrating on a low thought frequency. You understand? On genetically modified information that allows them allows us and our lower self to act out and express the seven deadly fruits because of the information that we're 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 expressing you know, you know what i'm saying the information that we're expressing is shown through the the culture that is living you know like square buildings and eating meat when we don't have to you know what i mean like these are low thought frequencies like we don't need to kill animals when there's plenty of fruit in the tropics you know what I mean like there's banana trees over here and there's mad chickens and turkeys around me right now but I, they don't even look good like the fuck you know what I mean like if it came down to it you know what I mean I don't know it's just not that time like I don't have to eat a chicken that shit you have to season it anyway like I'm not even gonna get into all that but the fuck like but back to what I was saying so a low thought form that's really what a demon is. A demon is just nothing more than a low thought form that is in, our, is in us. That's the reason that you can think it. You know? That's the reason that you can think a low thought form is because it's within you. Right? It's within all of our hearts. And based off our, of our astrological programming, it's how we deal with it. It's how we um, perceive it and how we think about it. How we handle it. You know? So I was just... I wanted to really talk about this because... Even though I'm in my higher self, I'm in the tropics, I want people to know that you can't run from yourself. Even on this level, I mean, you see even Master Teacher constantly, the Honorable Master Teacher Nature Boy is constantly evolving, facing his demons online, here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't see it at all. You talking about casting out demons? I didn't see it in the flesh. You understand what I'm saying? Just like they talk about um, Jesus in the Bible. Casting out demons, speaking to demons, Satan get behind me. And really what he's talking about is these bad thought forms. He's in the spirit realm. You know what I'm saying? He's seeing things beneath the surface. He's not a surface dweller. You know, here at Carbonation, we're not surface dwellers. We see, we understand that life is symbolic. You know? And through the teachings of the Honorable Master Teacher Nature Boy, we're learning to cast out demons, which are bad thought forms, with divine knowledge itself, which is the Holy Spirit. You follow? So, even being here, within myself, there's demons, there's low thought, thought forms that I must face in order to elevate and to help to love myself. To love myself, I have to understand that within myself, like, uh, I gotta deal with this. I, I have to deal with this part of myself. I'm not willing to ignore a part of myself, like, no, nah, that's not why I came here. I came here to elevate, to grow. You understand? And so the honorable master teacher is big on it. He always teaches us, study yourself. Study your astrological energy. Because in your astrological energy, you'll see where you can have debilitations. So for example, I'm an airy sun, right? And you know, if you know anything about fire signs of airy sun, they really, they're generally confident within themselves. They, they want to take charge and they want to take action. And they want to be in control of their lives. They want to be independent. You know? But then on the other hand, I have a Pisces moon. You know? And if you know anything about Pisces moon, Pisces moon is a water sign. It's very sensitive. See what I'm saying? I don't need to eat, yo. You know what I'm saying? Just let them be about their business. But a Pisces is a water sign. It's a moon sign. You know? And so what that does is it causes me to sometimes doubt myself. Because the moon represents the instincts, the instinctual, the emotional body. So when emotions come up, a lot of times is when we fuck up. Like when people make bad decisions, it's usually out of emotions because they're not thinking clear. Certain people can think more clear within their emotions depending on their Mercury placement. It just so happens that I have a moon in Pisces and I have a Mercury in Pisces. So if it wasn't for certain aspects, 
I'd probably be fucked up, to be honest. I probably would be in jail because I would be acting out of my emotions, you know? But the point I'm trying to make is, within my chart, I see, within my chart and within my reality, my, I'm, I'm living my astrological energy, I'm projecting it, I'm, it's unfolding. I can make the correlation and I can see my own demons within myself. Insecurities in, in people in my life that bring out insecurities. Now it's our job that when we see these things within ourselves to be able to face them. To be able to use divine knowledge itself, divine knowledge of wisdom in order to correct our negative thought forms. You understand what I'm saying? So <clears throat> when, we're, we're in a, when we're in a relationship, you know, a, a lot of people out there are probably in, in relationships. Like I was in Babylon, I was in a relationship and I was with somebody that helped me show that helped me to see myself <clears throat> when I was open to learning about myself and facing myself and not always thinking I was right. I learned that this person was showing me that I didn't love myself and that I was insecure within myself because I was in a relationship with somebody who was insecure about themselves. They weren't even confident within themselves. You understand? And I held on to that. And it was only showing me that I didn't feel like I deserved better. And that's not good. You should never settle. You should never doubt yourself to the point that it stops you from going for what you want in life. You should never doubt yourself to the point that it stops you from going for what you know you deserve in life. Because you can have whatever it is that you want. I'm not saying that you, you need to have everything, but something that's really in your heart, like you want a lover that loves you for you. You know, you're in a relationship where somebody's not treating you the way you know you should be treated. And it's just over and over again. It's just this repetitive cycle. It's just a repetitive cycle. And you're going to keep getting those lessons. You're going to keep going through those same things until you understand what the universe is trying to show you through the other person. You know, the Honorable Master Teacher Nature Boy teaches us that what relationships are, relationships are a form of transportation. You understand? It's a relation, right? You you relate with that person, right? You have in common or whatever, you're attracted to each other, and then it's a ship, you're going somewhere together, you know? And sometimes your loyalty has an expiration date, you know? You have to let go of what no longer serves you. And you have to surround your things around things that are the best for you. The best energies for you. You have to invest your energies in, in things that give you a return on your investment. You got to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself or treat yourself a certain way, nobody else will. You can't expect nobody to. So we have things like doubt, fear, insecurities. Because we don't really understand what we are and we don't love ourselves for who we are. You know? First off, we have to realize the most healthiest perspective is I am everything. You know? I am everything. Even when I'm viewing, even somebody in my reality that's great. I'm great because I'm observing them in the first place. You know? You can't be jealous. Like, to be jealous is to, to, to be jealous to feel like you don't have. And when you feel like you don't have, that's what you're sending out to the universe. You have whatever you want. You can have anything in this world. You understand? You don't need everything. But you can have anything you want. I mean, the world is yours. The world is yours. The world is yours. You can have anything you want. You know? But it's our job to get aligned. That's really what's important. Is getting aligned with the flow and being in tune with nature and the universe. That's really what matters. And everything else after that, whatever balances you, you know, a relationship, you understand? Because we're pieces to a puzzle. So to not doubt yourself and don't let low thought forms or bad thought forms like, oh, I'm, I'm ugly or nigga, you, you. Dress yourself up, you know what I'm saying? Make yourself look good. And then at the end of the day, you, you, like, there's just things that you can't change about you. Some, somebody out there is going to love you for you. There's mad people in this world. Somebody's going to love you for you. You're perfect for somebody. You know? 
You're perfect. You're perfect the way you are. You're perfect with somebody. You just have to express yourself. You just got to be you and be the authentic you so that you can attract what's attracted to you. Like, what are you talking about? The language of the universe is energy and vibration. You know? So if you're dealing with people and energies that are destructive interference, if you study energy, you know that's going to mess with your your heart's electromagnetic field. That's going to that's going to mess with your manifestation abilities, your thought forms and the thought forms of other people around you. You have to clear your energies to reach your highest potential. So when it comes to your demons and these things, you got to face yourself. That's what true strength is. The Honorable Master Teacher Nature will always teach us that true strength is mental strength. It's not your ability to put your hands on another man or fight somebody physically. It's mental strength. To be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I'm going to fix that. You know? To be in a relationship with somebody and then they do you dirty, which really you're doing yourself dirty, but say they they just not worthy of you. And they show that. To be able to laugh that off and be like, I'm going to be all right. That's good. Like, I learn, learn from everything. Everything is a test. Live by your morals and principles. Divine morals and principles. Authenticity. Always keeping it real with yourself. Courage. Integrity. Responsibility. Self-control. Compassion. You know? These are the things that we should be focused on. Anything that hinders us, cut it out. Cut it off. Anything that causes you to stumble, cut it off. The same with your thoughts. Any thoughts that cause you to not be who you know you are, stop thinking it. Correct your thoughts. You understand? Using divine knowledge and wisdom. And this is what we're teaching 24-7 here at Carbonation. Divine knowledge and wisdom. Being an example, living the knowledge that we teach to show you that it works. You know? And trust me, like, don't get me wrong, like, I still face myself. I'm evolving every day. I'm growing every day. Reminding myself, like, you know, if nobody else believes in you, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta know that you the shit. Like, no matter what nobody else says, you have to see everything in yourself that people don't see in you. And you're gonna attract people that see that in you. And sometimes you see, sometimes you'll attract people that see it in you to help you realize it. And you gotta accept that and embody that. You know? You the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're observing this reality. Like, what are you talking about? This reality wouldn't exist without you observing it. That's a holographic universe. You gotta know that. None of this would exist without you, your observation. I'm honored to be observing this reality. As much as it's fucked up, it's, there's so much beauty in it. And I see the beauty in it because I see the beauty in myself. I see the beauty in the things around me. Because I choose to. I could choose to see all the bad, but that's only gonna harbor bad and bad feelings and vibes. And that's not what I wanna manifest in my life. You know, work on Repro reprogramming your subconscious, going into solitude, detaching from people who, who are thinking on a low thought form and low thought frequencies and bad vibes. Niggas that is bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, let them catch up, like, you know what I'm saying? In Babylon, I was like, man, when niggas was doing some other shit, I was like, man, I'm gonna just go be by myself over here. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to do something with my life. You know what I mean? Niggas want to do the same thing, and it's like we get caught up in it. You know what I'm saying? A nigga be like, you be trying to do, you be trying to make it, make something work in Babylon. Nigga be like, hey, yo, you want to match? You want to roll up? You want to smoke? And you get distracted. Then you get caught up in all the shit in their minds. And you know while you're there, like, ah, oh, man, I know I should be go working on myself. There's stuff I could be doing. Like, you know you bullshitting. And right now, Y'all should already know y'all should be in the tropics. So it, you definitely shouldn't be indulging in that. It should be like, mm, it should be cut. Like, this is your life. You got to take your life seriously. 
To know the knowledge and not act on it is like the greatest sin of all. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Do you not care about yourself? Like, and that's cool. Like, if, I'm just trying to help. You know? I'm just trying to help. So make sure that you study yourself. Read your chart. Pay attention to the way that you think. And just have a desire within yourself to grow. And you will grow. It's not easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So face your demons, man. Like, and anything, and any thoughts, any people, any food, any and everything that causes you to stumble, cut it off. Get rid of that shit. Focus on the knowledge. Ascend. Elevate. Elevate your consciousness. Elevate. You'll be okay. We live in proof here at Carbonation that you're going to be all right. Don't let what these people saying online about the auto master teacher and nothing like that get you off track. These niggas don't know what they talking about. You should be able to look at that shit and be like, the fuck? They obviously don't take their life seriously for whatever reason. Like, wish them the best. You know? But that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, man. Just what are demons facing them? Like, why that's important? And stay in focus. So we can stay focused, you know? It's just God in disguise testing us. We're testing ourselves to prove to ourselves that we're worthy of the kingdom. You know? But that's all I wanted to say in this video, man. As always, I would like to give honor and respect to my OG, the Honorable Master Jesus and Nature Boy, for sparking my mind and helping me. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I... When I get caught in my own mind, it's giving me a better perspective, a better way to think about it. To remind me that I'm the shit. Like, no matter what nobody has to say, like, I just know. I'm, like, my mind is truly healed and I just feel it within every core essence of my being. Like, what are y'all going to tell me? Like, I know what I'm talking about. You know? But, you know, real recognize real, man. I love myself.